cable camera. I've done that like three times now. Cable cameras are, are really expensive. They're like, oh, I think the cheapest one I saw that was about the size of the one I'm making was about, I think, $600 that came with complete with everything you needed. Um, and uh, I decided that uh, I was just going to make my own, which is what this YouTube channel is about, building your own stuff. And uh, I was going to 3D print it. Now, I could 3D print thing, or I could get a CNC machine out and, and cut carbon fiber and spend a ton of money on a machine shop and, and, and TIG welding. But that's really not the point of all of this. I want to make something that was uh, simpler to make. Uh, they, all you need was uh, a trip to the hobby store and a, a hardware store, and you could potentially produce this thing. And that's what this video is about. I was supposed to film me 3D printing this thing, but you're going to have to just take my word for it that it happened, because I didn't actually film any of that. It's not fancy CGI. It, it, it's, it's really there. Narrating this thing's like the worst thing ever. I'm starting with this wheel here. Uh, I took a page out of the, the gun nerds out there and had to stipple it because it was a little bit too smooth as is. Um, I'd like to redo this design at some point uh, to have it more scalloped, but like, and, and also uh, having a, like a groove down the middle of it, but like scalloping and grooving at the same time is something I don't know how to do in SolidWorks quite yet. It's just to Google away. But I still haven't figured it out didn't do it there. Uh, here's all the parts for this thing. Most of it's, um, most of it's metric, if I remember right. I think it's all metric, actually. Yeah, everything in there is metric, because I don't believe in, uh, fractions, really, or, or American standards. Terrible. Um, right there, I'm putting on the wheel for the camera mount, a little pulley wheel, that's the actual bottom of the uh, cable pan, is there, I have to speed everything up, this is monumentally, monumentally boring, uh, there's the motor plate, it actually goes on the wheel, motor mount plate, uh, I'm getting, uh, that there is uh, one of those maker it's like a geared DC brushed maker motor, but I think was a Radio Shack thing. And I googled that the other day, and they're about 20 bucks. I'm getting them for about $8 from an electronics reseller, which makes it nice for me, and not so much nice for everybody else. That's what it is. I probably won't put a link on it. It's really hard to get the spacing right on that, but it took me a couple tries. Well, that's the bottom of it, on the back side. Put the motor on there. Put the motor on there. Let's get the motor in there. I should really cut all this out. Like, it's pretty, that's, that's pretty boring there. Just to get this motor mounted. Is that really good? This is really just an assembly video that's going on uh, the Thingverse page that this is going to be posted on. Somebody has a general idea of how to put it on. Fittings aren't too important. Use fittings that fit. If you want to use, you know, American bolts that are, you know, that are in fractions, like, feel, feel free. Feel free for that. Not making any sense, though. Said. 
the old wheel mount on there. That's the part that comes with that motor. A little nice piece of machined aluminum. That uh, wheel sets a little bit inside of there. I think for M6s go in there if left holes for the mounted uh, see that's flush inside of the wheel. Inside the wheel. They're in the wheel. I think I've got a couple of times like that thing was not staying on there. They they use like rub screws to hold them on the shaft and it's it's not the best way to do it, so they slip a little bit, which really isn't that big of an issue. So not really that big of an issue. Uh, there's this second one here, which you may be asking yourself what that might be. That second motor actually controls the uh, the camera, the camera mount, that ball mount for it. Uh, it spins it, so you have a painting action. No uh, tilt, just 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 pan, uh, which I think is I think is good enough. You just have to angle it. I kind of designed it so it could be like sandwiched together like this. Um, the bottom plate is just a tad longer than the wheel. Um, so they shouldn't touch, but if they do, it's not that big of a deal because they're not rubbing that hard and this thing does not go fast enough to actually melt any of that plastic. Put those guys in there. Idea those bolts are smaller than the top bolts. bolts are the no, I mean, he makes it a little more than the top bolts. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to Real nice, happened for a different project. Yes. Yeah, There's two in there. Bolt goes through. Holds the frame and the wheels on. No big deal. I was having some issues with tolerances on those bearings. If you saw it slipped out a little bit there at the top. It was kind of a thing that was making it too tight and not tight enough. It's actually an issue with the printer. My printer is a little bit out of whack and wasn't printing very good. I tuned it up after this, but it was only after I uh, went I got off the wrong socket for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing. scripts for any of these dubbings here. That's why it just sounds like I'm saying whatever comes to my mind. So what does I am. I consider not dubbing this. Yeah. That's the point. At least you can hear me talk about it. It's like a, it's like a commentary track on a, on a movie. Except someone who doesn't like doing the commentary tracks. Yeah, the wheels work. Most boring part was putting the harness together for these two uh, brushed ESCs for those motors. I think those were a little bit more expensive. I think they're running about 12 bucks a piece. They're waterproof. Um, they're pretty nice. I would put a wiring diagram on this, but there's really no need for it. You pretty much have a choice of either creating um, a Y adapter for those XD60s to the battery pack or just wiring both the powers together on the SEs, which is what I went with, just wiring the powers together, and then wiring the motors onto, uh, the motor leads onto the SE. That's it. This has got really bad, because I, I did it, I, I was trying to get through it, and, it, and I think this is probably the most boring part of this actual build, was putting this together.
Those are good helping hands. The ones with those, uh, those, like, I think they're water tubes or something? I'm not really sure what it is, to be honest. I don't know why they chose to paint in that color either. The base plate's all weird colored. There it is, plugged in. Pan motor's turning. It works the rubber band. There it is. And I gotta go. It's got the little yai on it. The yi. Moving back and forth. It works as advertised. It works as advertised. I was using, um, Oh man, I can't think of the name of the receiver or anything on there, but you could just use standard RC parts. Like I said, it's all PWM regular RC parts that you could hook into that. Just a receiver and transmitter like you would normally use. Yeah, this is a nice Dr. Pepper shirt. Yeah. It's my lady friend. She doesn't care. She's probably Facebooking. Alright. Pan. It panned the other way. It just wasn't panning the other way when I filmed this. Here's some wires in the shop. Some bicycles. That's it. That's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.